vlog is what you call adulting. Seven o'clock dentist appointment. Well, eight o'clock, eight a.m. dentist appointment. Um, today is I'm having a I have a dentist appointment, just like a cleaning. But my dentist is also my orthodontist. Um, if you didn't know, I had Invisalign, um, which um, <laughs> I had Invisalign, and I left my trays. I left my retainer. So I'm just gonna have to clean it myself. But um, <clears throat> normally they like deep sterilize it. If you bring it in, they put it under the whatever the red light or yellow light or blue light, whatever kind of light um, the sterilizer, medical sterilizer is. But um, today is also my two year kind of like post. Invis no, actually it's been a full year since I've been post Invisalign and only wearing my retainer. Almost a year. This is like, kind of like my two year checkup since I started Invisalign back in 2000. And uh, I started Invisalign at the end of 2008. No, in the summer of 2018. Um, and this is a full year after having Invisalign. So I have that appointment. Um, it shouldn't take long because it's literally just them looking at my teeth. I will say they're probably gonna tell me that they're noticing like my teeth are spacing back on this side because I have not been wearing my retainer consistently up until like three days ago when I was like, oh dang, I go to the dentist Friday. So it's not bad, but you can definitely like, I need to start wearing my retainer again. So um, I'm gonna do that, you know. So my appointment went very, 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 very good. My dentist did get on me a little bit about the whole retainer situation, but he did show me an x-ray of my teeth, which makes me feel better, but it's still like, you know, still a sign that I need to, you know, get back to wearing my retainer consistently and not just when I feel like it. But um, he did show me an x-ray of my teeth from when I, like from before and then after, and my teeth are still pretty much lined up with what my after is. He said he does see a little bit of spacing on the top row, which is what I already kind of had assumed. So yeah, he just told me to get back to wearing them, as try to wear them at least, you know, in the evening um, while I sleep or whatever. So I'm gonna, you know, work on that. But right now I'm getting ready to head to Dollar Tree because there are a few things that I need, like business related stuff. So I'm about to eat these egg bites really quick just because when I get home, I want to get straight to work. And I also got um, a coffee because I made coffee this morning, but I didn't drink all of it because I was rushing a little bit. So we're about to go to Dollar Tree and we might stop inside of Joanne Fabrics. I don't know, maybe. So I'm back home. Hold on, let me go turn the oven off. Gotta plug up my heating pad because I'm having a time over here. Okay, y'all, okay, so I am back home now. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I just got from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm talking loud because the my dad's Somebody is upstairs in the shower, so y'all probably can hear the water kind of coming down. But um, the first things that I got were these flowers. And I honestly don't know how this is gonna work. If it doesn't work great, I mean, if it doesn't you know, work the way I want it to, it's fine. Um, but I'm just trying them out. They did not necessarily come uh, or look the exact way that I want them to look. But I, I have an idea in my head that I'm gonna use for these. So if you follow me on Instagram, then 
you might see something with these you might not i don't know <laughs> um but i just got these flowers i got another one of these green ones but i don't see it right now it's probably down at the bottom my keys okay and then i also got some more of these clear plastic um containers um they didn't have the clear acrylic ones like i have now which i did get from dollar tree but i got some of these to separate lip glosses so this is just a pack of two there's two in each i also got this gold metal it's a paper um sort of like a paper basket so that i could keep like packing slips and stuff like that up here just a bit more organized i should have gotten more of these i didn't even think to fit the paper but it actually does so um i might go back and get maybe maybe two or three more of these um because i would also like one upstairs in my room and this would also be good for like my work papers and stuff so i might get a couple more of these um these little baskets they also have some circular ones um but i didn't get the circle ones i just got the one the size for just you know regular paper got some more bowls i use these for mixing glosses um what else did i get here's the other flower this one is not as separated as uh this other one over here so yeah um then i also got some more spoons these are the ones with the thick bottom i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about probably not but they have some at dollar tree that are very like flimsy and then they have these ones that are really like super thick and sturdy and i like these a lot better than the really thin ones um that's just mine i also got some more thank you cards i like to do um thank you cards like this every once in a while i have this kind already so i got another pack of these and then these ones here just giving me very fall vibes so that's why i got those and then i am also planning to do something um specific for a little gift set so i just got some of this fall colored um crinkle paper that i'm gonna use for that and that's about it um that i got oh and i also got some post-it notes i also got some post-it notes um i'm dropping stuff all over the place so that's what i got from dollar tree a few other random things but they're random um for myself so but that's about it i'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then we're gonna get started with um actually let me print these packing slips while i am sitting here um print packing slips print this one so yeah, I'm just about to print these packing slips really quick and then we're gonna get started with finishing up orders. I have about 15 orders to finish right now um, and they're all gonna go out today. So it's currently 10.30 and I would love to be leaving the house by like 12.30 with the orders. Everything's already made. The only thing that I have to do is label a few products with the new label, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and then pack them up and get them out of here so they can get, get to you guys. Um, and that's about it. The orders that came in today though will not go out till monday so these are orders from um, i feel absolutely terrible because i packed all those orders took them to the post office um i thought my camera was on recording me while i was doing the um the labels and stuff and it was not recording me at all so i did do the labels i'm gonna show you guys a quick snap these labels turned out so much better I still have to work on like my precision cutting because you know like when you cut something and it has like that little like it's like it's like off a little bit and then you cut some more and then it's even more off than before so I had a lot of cutting um to do to make these labels and stuff you know look good but it was not bad at all and I'm very pleased and very happy with how everything um how the labels turn out on the products um, I, I was able to get correct sizing for stuff. So I labeled a soap. I labeled a rose water. I labeled a black soap, a body butter, an even clear face serum. And I also labeled, um, no, that was it. That's all I labeled. So I'm just going to show you guys this quick little picture. Hopefully you can see it. This is how the label turned out. Doesn't it look so good? 
focus, focus, focus. So I'm excited. So uh, tomorrow will be the day that I film the label video. So you're probably seeing it the week after this weekend, like, you know, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Right now though, I am getting ready to work on something very special that is actually going to be posted on my website tonight. I only have a few of these, so I'm not doing many of them, but I wanted to do like a fall self-care kit. Um, I did a self-care kit right at the end of summer and those did so well on my website. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all, let me bring you around this way, this quick little setup that I did to take a product picture for the um, Hello Fall. Hello Fall kit basically is just a whiteboard and then I have my silk fabric with the fall, um, what is this called, stuff here that I was showing you guys earlier. Uh, the camera cut off while I was talking about um, the reason that I wanted to do these kits, but nevertheless, here they are. If you're interested, I'm only stocking a few of them. I think there are, I don't know how many of these buckets. I got like five of these, but I'm only stocking those five. Um, so if you're interested, the kits will be up. They're actually up right now when you're watching this. So I'm just going to show you guys really quick what's inside. 
the coconut rose body oil which I'm actually getting ready to make myself one of these because it smells amazing we have the um, mango butter lip gloss in there and then the sponge and then the coconut and rose body scrub so this is actually an OG product that we've had for a while or had once before just bringing it back so that's what's inside of this kit I'm super excited for these to go up um, kits do really well on my on my site just within my business so I'm gonna finish making these I have two more to do and then I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up because it's just a hot mess I mean there's stuff everywhere stuff all on the floor oils over there so I need to go ahead and clean this up so that I can you know be done for the night but I'm excited about these really really excited about these little buckets um, I wanted to make some sets tonight but I'm not sure if I will so um, after I clean up this might actually let me turn the camera around hold on yeah after I clean up this might actually be the end of this video so this vlog might just be a little bit shorter but um oh that's too dark nothing wrong with that um but yeah I don't really know if I'm going to actually make any sets tonight um this week like I said has just really been focused on skincare stuff so I need to like clean up all this stuff I threw stuff on the floor trying to get stuff off the counter and off the off the thing here um yeah but that's about it I'm getting ready to um finish this cleanup and then I'm also going to do a quick inventory over here of these are all body butters right there and then right here these are body scrubs and then over there are oils so I want to do a quick inventory so I know exactly how many labels I need to do tomorrow um that's when I'm gonna film the label video and all that stuff so you guys will be able to see that um and I'm close I just unplugged the light but um just to show you up close that gives you a better chance to see the labels I'm getting so much better at these they're looking really good so I'm happy with them this one looks really really good and then I did this one here which is smaller and harder to read but still good getting so much better with these labels I'm so excited for y'all to like just see the progress of me making them and getting better with them I'm gonna clean up though now because I really need to really need to get on this cleanup it's a hot mess down here oh.